was one to five in Wish by Barbara O'Connor. This is also the author of How to Steal a Dog, okay? So I haven't read that book yet, but uh, you should check that book out, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start at chapter one. And how would you describe Charlie Reese? Or Charlemagne Reese, but she doesn't like Charlemagne. Um, why do you think that she doesn't like the name Charlemagne? And do you think that the kids um, all around her are actually hillbilly kids? And do you think that they are actually going, they actually eat squirrels? Also, um, there's also a get to know you sheet. Um, do you think that this get to know you sheet actually helps people to get to know you? I mean, favorite subject, favorite activities, describing your family, your name, that's not, that's not very a lot, right? I mean, you could know that. You would still know, you would only be like the tip of the iceberg, right? You don't know how this person feels about things. You don't know how this person likes um, other things, how what they hate, um, what they, um, I mean like, and like what they do a lot, right? Like favorite activity, that's not like favorite, right? There's some more than three, right? I mean, what, what is their interests? What's their passion? We don't know all that. So, and it shouldn't be written down in paper. You should actually get to know this person, not just on a get to know you paper. Do you agree with that? Okay, but anyway, um, so, um, do you, I mean, do you actually, do you like fighting? Or do you not like fighting? Do you think that fighting is good or bad? Because some people might argue that fighting is bad because it makes you stressful and it's not very nice and good and kind. But on the other hand, some people might say that fighting helps you to um, get tougher and stronger and to think of like if you're doing a debate kind of fight then you can um, think more or and you get smarter and you let off a little steam, right? And it feels satisfying. So what do you think about it? And um, also, how would you describe um, how would you describe Charlie's family? Do, and um, do you, would you agree that your that I mean Charlie's family was a little broken? And why do you think that her mama is in bed all day long and not a good mama? Do you think she's sick or what do you think is? Um, what do you think is happening and um, why do you think that, I mean, I mean, if you were Charlie, would you be very mad and grumpy and disappointed um, uh, if you lived in this, um, in, the, in the Blue Ridge Mountains we learned, right? Um, and yeah, right? So um, like, or would you be really excited that you were somewhere else from home and you would be really um, a very good student and try to make some more friends? What would you be, the first one or the second one? And how about Howard? How would you describe Howard? And um, do you also make wishes every day, like daily? And um, do you know any, um, how to make a wish? Like how, I mean like, you know, like um, when to make a wish or when you see something you can make a wish, like 11, 11 it seems you can make a wish, right? Um, and if you, if you didn't make a wish, what would you make a wish for? And um, if you were Charlie, would you like it if you had a backpack buddy? But if you, um, and also, um, why do you think that, uh, and why do you, and why do you think that, um, uh, Charlie, right? So, do you think that, um, Charlie, why do you think that she doesn't want to make any friends? Do you think that it's because she's gonna go back soon, or why? Or do you think that she's just too angry? But anyway, this red-headed boy, who we learned is Howard, right? So, um, do you like this boy? And um, do you think that he's too nosy or not? And then, um, 
Howard's house, right? How would you describe this house? And um, do you think, what do you think is better? Do you think that the environment of the house is um, better or do you think that how the house looks and how the house feels and what it does, what do you think is more important? And um, also, it would be really cool to actually make a list of all the ways you can make list, uh, wishes, okay? So, so far, in chapter one, we learn um, throwing a penny, and before it hits the ground, you have to make a wish, and also 11, 11, okay? But, okay, so chapter two, okay, and how do you like Gus and Bertha? How would you describe them? And if you have been Charlie, would you be nice to them or would you not be nice to them? And also, um, do you think it's nice of Charlie to describe Howard as the up and down boy? Or, and I mean, and there's two, and also, um, do you think that a kid is nice if um, if they help someone, um, uh, make, uh, you know, like, um, you know, like, um, uh, uh, replace some boards and then, uh, and then get a bag full of charms, do you think that means that they are nice or, uh, or, and that this is proof or do you think that's not necessarily proof? And, um, for that, for, in exchange, what would you get if you had helped them replace um, boards and all that? Would you have accepted a bag full of turnips? But anyway, um, if you had been Charlie and you saw Cinderella pillowcases, how would you react? And, and, but would you, um, but would you say anything to Bertha or would you be just too, um, guilty and embarrassed, I mean, to upset, um, Bertha? Because Bertha really is trying to be nice. Do you agree with that? Um, and do you think that's Bertha's fault that she doesn't know anything about girls? And, um, um, I want to ask you a question. Do 11 years old, gir 11 year old girls, girls in fifth grade, do they like Cinderella and princesses, or do you think that's a little, uh, lit of those the princesses and stuff like that are for kids, like little kids? What do you think about that? And um, also, do you think that making a wish is like a uh, is crazy, or do you think that is pretty um is is pretty sensible to make a wish? And um, Bertha says that she married Gus not because of his looks, but because of his brains. And do you think that is more? And do you think that brains is more important, or do you think that looks is more important? And I'll actually give you an example. Let's say that um. You wanted to be a partner with somebody, okay? Because I don't think that marrying right now, I don't think that's, um, um, we should discuss that right now because that's gonna, that's gonna go in very deep, right? And we aren't talking like very deep right now. Let's just say um, you have a part, you want to have this partner at school, okay? And, but would you do this because that he was really um cool, or maybe it's a she, but she's really cool, she or he, okay? I'll say, um, okay, she or he's really cool and nice, and, I mean, really cool, right? And really handsome or pretty, okay? But, or would you like someone who's not that attractive, right? But is very, very smart. And overall, they would help you do very good on your science project while the uh, your other partner who is very um really cool and handsome or pretty looking um it's a good partner it's pretty cool to be with her but all in all your science project does not go out good because you know you keep on just talking about other things and they i mean and they aren't like and they and they own and well Anyone can actually do a good science project, but you sort of get my train of thought, right? Um, and also, I want to ask you: um, Do you think do you think that a, that having a temper is a good thing or a bad thing? And do you think that having a temper is something to be proud of? And also, if if um, if Andre Mitchell had um, had um, teased her. 
teased her like teased you about the boost, how would you react? Would you would your temper flare up or would you just be like, you know, um, or would you just ignore it? Or would you just be like, stop that? How would you do it? Or would you just kick her? And also, um, also, do you think that the word pineapple is going to help Charlie? And do you think it's going to, if, and if you were Charlie, do you think that it would have helped you? And also, um, do you think that, um, this, the temper of Charlie's, do you think that this is, um, a very good thing for Charlie, this temper? And also, um, how do you think of the place um, she's staying in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Do you think that it would be a very beautiful place to live in? And also, um, I want to ask you, did, what do you think about this skinny dog, okay? And then, um, not a lot of spoilers here, right, okay? But let's say that you saw the cover, okay? There is this girl who we can guess is Charlie, and then there is this dog. Hmm. So, what? So, I'm gonna actually talk about that later, okay? But anyway, um, um, if you had been Charlie, would you have, um, um, I mean, and, I mean, do you like strays? I, now, I, I was just, um, very curious about that. Okay. F chapter four, right? And if you were Bertha, how would you react to Charlie's, um, let's say misbehavior, okay? And, um, do you, what do you, what style do you like more? Um, if you got into trouble, someone would holler at you, or would, or do you like it if someone were just like, hey, tomorrow's a new day, you'll be better, and then they would not be that, be that very angry. And um, do you really think that Charlie, do you think that she can actually change her habits? And do you think that by the end of the story, it'll be, that she'll be a, sort of like a different character? And also, what, if you were Charlie, would you want this stray, okay? And do you think that's um, sensible that she's gonna try to um, um, try to get this dog, or at least that she's gonna um, have this dog for her own? And do you go to church or do you not go to church? It's okay if you don't, or if you do, that's pretty cool. Um, either ways. She goes to church, right? And do you think that if you go to church, then do you think that you need a dress? Or do you think that plain clothes will be okay enough? And also, I want to ask you, um, what, uh, um, also, um, Sunday school, right? So, there, there was also this Bible box, right? Do you think that Bible box, um, do you think um, you would be able to answer all the questions for the Bible books um, correctly? And also, um, I wanted to ask you about Mrs. Odom. What do you think about Mrs. Odom and Mr. Odom? And actually, the whole family of the Odoms, right? The whole family of Odoms. Uh, and also, um, do you think that, uh, do you think that, Charlie should work more harder on her homework papers. And also, um, do you think that's nice of Howard to ask about um, Charlie's daddy in jail? And also, um, I wanted to ask you, how do you think that um, Charlie felt when Jackie began to like talk about her awesome life on the phone? How do you think that she felt? And, I, and finally, I wanted to ask you, there's that dog, right? I'm gonna talk a little more about that dog. What do you think is gonna happen and what do you think it's gonna predict? There's this dog and she says that she's gonna try to get a dog. Hmm, what do you think is gonna happen? Well, I was just really curious about that, okay? Um, but anyway, I hope that you had a great, great, great time with me. Hope that you have a great rest of your day, but if it's night, then I hope that you have a great night. And also, uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, these questions. I almost forgot them, but luckily, it, they just popped into my mind again. Um, but anyway, 
Riley, what was your favorite part in these chapters, and how do you like the book so far? Do you think that it um, that it, it deserves um, this um, very? Do you think that it deserves to be very famous? And also, finally, who's your favorite character? And as a bonus question, I have to want to ask you, um, um, what do you think that Charlie wishes for anyway? But anyway, hope, uh, again, I hope that you had a great time with me. Have a great rest of your night or day. And uh, next time, we're going to read all the way from chapter 6 to 10 in Wish, okay? So I hope that you read that.